Okay, I got another update uh, for TSLA. Um, so, again, for people who may have missed this, I, I got another idea, uh, something that I'm going to be looking to enter into as well uh, because the options are cheaper. But we'll get to that plan right now. I'm going to get into the details. So, so Tesla, based on today's action, Tesla is set up to test 345 to 355 quickly. But I will explain some facts inside the video. The Juno 2 350 calls could be used in this case. If it can confirm, for low risk, high reward, quick gains. Okay, so I'm going to get into that. So right now, as it stands, what I want to see this do, because see, notice Tesla, we've had, we've been trending, and it's been doing this for for three days. I mean, even on Friday, if someone was to take the, an option play, uh, it worked out even better on. It was very solid on Friday, and then we continued to follow through again for Tuesday's trading. And the question is now. You know, could the stock it could relax? You know, in other words, there's two ways to think. One could buy. Uh, you know, there's support in the 330 area, so one could engage that way. Or, what only I'm going to support and talk about in this video is the next confirmation point. Okay, um, and again, Tesla might give us um, another confirmation point, right? But as it stands for May the 30th, unless I make an update, this is the plan I'm going to go on for confirmation of, of that. You know, they want to take this up. Because they might just want to keep going too, right? It's one of those key. It's one of those key areas where I mean, the stock is an overbought, but it's run um, well four days in a row, and typically it's you know unlikely. Um, it's hard to say right now. That's my point, right? And so, anyways, Tesla needs to break above three thirty-seven twenty-five on some good action volume, and good action volume is four hundred k on a five-minute chart. You know, the reason why I decided to use 400k on a 5-minute chart is that sometimes the 10-minute chart could be long enough. So realize that 600, uh, 500k on a 10-minute chart could be good. So it depends. Like, for example, let's say Tesla decides to open up weak, and then it shows power later on, right? And the volume comes in, and it may come in with the, uh, on a 5-minute chart. And it may come in with a 10-minute chart. So this is why I'm talking about I will explain more details in the video because it's one of those things. If they decide to pop over 337.25 quickly and then within five minutes we have this high volume just like we did for the May 29th plan today, right? On May the 30th, as you can see, we have the follow-through volume. The question is that will they want to relax it one day before they pop it, right? Because it's a matter of do they want to pop it this week? And they may very well pop it this week. We might even have another 100% gaining and then require another entry, for all I know. For all we know. It's a matter of, is this trending? And right now, what I want to continue the trend, and another way to enter, and we're going to ch talk about the options, because these are really good to use. And I'm going to explain this, because some people don't think that uh, you can make, you only, you have to have, you only make money when options go into the money. And that's farther from the truth. All right, so here we are at Yahoo Finance, and Tesla closed at 335.10, up nine dollars. So it was a good day, considering the market was choppy. And here's the June second uh, calls up again. And here I record all these facts, statistical facts, for educational purposes to teach. Because you know what, the advice I give is solid advice, people. So let's look at this now. Imagine the 335 calls. You could see a lot of trading, but the, in other words, new open interest had come into this one. But the nice thing about this is, believe it or not, you know, these 350 calls right now, they're trading around 0.98 cents, okay? Under a little under a dollar. But I tell you this, and this is why we're going to make this video here. You know, if Tesla was to just go to 340, these would probably double. They'd become 200, uh, but not that we'd get that price. But Tesla goes to 343, and you're probably looking at 100% gains, for example, uh, plus confirmation of entry. And th that's if it confirms, right? Tesla goes to 350s. These are going to turn, this could turn into uh, 200 to 300% gains, right? Because what will happen is the value could go, these could change. Let's say they confirm at $1.30. Uh, they could go to $3.30. Even though it's not the money, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, as you, you know, as you can see, for example, the the 335 calls made a 141% gain today. Okay, these actually did three 160, but the spreads are, are gain. Uh, I found that the 350 spreads are very tight. You know, you can see that are very tight. 
um, let's look at another thing. Possibility there, as you can see, uh, to me right now as it stands, I mean, one could look to use the 32 and a half, but I say 350 could be used, especially if they want to confirm this um, uh, tomorrow. In case they don't confirm it tomorrow, we might be able to get it. And if I see a better, uh, you know, option strategy and plan, we could look at it. With weekly options, you want to take profits. Sometimes you can hold, um, but usually you're trying to make some quick gains like the it's a, these are weekly plans are really to try to make quick gains you know because Tesla could have easily popped the 340 today it just didn't do it because I believe the market was very uh, slow and choppy but Tesla could have could have done that so that's my point I want to make here all right people if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel power target trades I suggest you subscribe see the central power trigger trade it's going to appear here in a circle format simply click on it it's going to give you an easy way to subscribe listen people I make great videos every video I explain great details so I make great plans the key is to study what I'm explaining in the videos you know confirmation is key I do post if it confirms but you want to know something you want to be able to make when I'm the way I design those plans with the volume and the price pressure you're able to make should be able to make a decision on an, an entry okay because the, it's all in the explanation and it's the setup right when things don't confirm they don't confirm right we don't bother sometimes they confirm in one way with let's say they don't have the volume um, and they don't work very well like Netflix um, didn't really confirm the way I liked it today but uh, I decided to take a shot in it and uh, it didn't work out for me, right? It, it pulled back, and I took a quick loss, and that's it. This is how it goes with trading. But had it confirmed with the volume, my point is, had it confirmed with the volume, it'd be more solid. And really what you need is the solid trades and being patient, waiting for the solid trades. I make great long-term plans like uh, the KO plan and all that stuff. But anyways, people, I suggest you subscribe, study the videos daily. You get, you get the great banner here. Uh, thanks for listening. <laughs> this, is Sandra, this is the Sandra Power Trick. It's going to appear here. Don't forget to click it. It'll give you an easy way to describe. Thanks for listening. Like the video.